All right, it's working. Uh, couldn't see the right dot. Getting ready to head over to the bus. I'm gonna wait till my uncle gets here and help me put this in here. I was gonna do it myself, which I probably could, but strain hurt myself. Well, I got the battery in there. We got the solar panel. Little teeny, teeny, teeny charge controller. That thing is micro. Uh, TV antenna. It's like eight dollar antenna. A TV and a Husky 700 watt inverter. Got the stuff for the hook the solar panel on. And I'm gonna see what it do. So that's what we're doing for right now. I'm trying new new handheld uh, gadget to hold your phone. Pistol grip. And there we go. Another speeding truck. That's over 40 mile an hour. It's only 40 on this road. There's kids out here. But anyway, that's what we're doing. Alright. Watch out for uh, landmines, dog turds. We're over at the bus. I already brought most of the stuff down to the bus. My friend Dave helped me get the uh, air compressor out. I got the parts for the air compressor. I got the parts... For now, these were a dollar or something. I'm going to try to use them to charge the battery. Don't know if it's going to work or not. They're like two bucks. And then we got to put the solar panel. We're going to have to put the solar panel on top of the bus. But for now, we're just going to see if we can even get it to work or anything. I got the little TV. Because I don't know what will work and what won't work. Got 750 watt uh, power supply. I was going to take these. Got wet walking down here. I know a lot of people wouldn't think this way, but I do. You gotta think outside the box. I don't have another wing nut. I wish I did. But, oops, now I lost it. This actually goes into other uh, newer style cars. For your battery, it's usually an 8 millimeter, And this would be your cable replacement cable I was thinking something like that just for now can't do it that way well I can but I'm just trying to see if I can charge the battery wood my pistol grip I don't have no way of holding you guys and There that is, and then I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to try to. do not know if this is actually going to work, but... I had a washer for this one. Make a pair of uh, channel locks, make them a little smaller.
There it is. That ought to work. I'll take these things and throw them away. There's our solar panel. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to try to set the solar panel maybe up in here. Just for now. I know it ain't going to be. It's raining and everything else. But I'm going to. I want to try to see if I can get it to set up where I know it's going to work. Okay, we're at the connector uh, stage. Just got to make sure you put your connectors right. One's a female and one's a male. Because they probably can snap into the wrong connectors. Taking all my parts apart. This should be the female side. And I'm keeping everything separate. This one's actually got a ring in it. Oh, this one does too, but it's backwards. This ring was backwards, that's all it was. Or it wasn't seated. Goes in here. It's like a little rubber ring. All right. So the small end here, like the male, is going to be the female, and that's going to be a male. All right. So we got that situated. Grab, grab a piece of the. Uh, 8 gauge, I bought, eight, it's like an 8 gauge speaker wire, but it, it's for a higher voltage, and it's only 12 volts, so. I do not have my wire strippers over here, so what I'm doing is putting my thumb down and pressing against it and turning. Then I'm going to try to see if I can start pulling it all. Which it did. It's starting to come off. I don't want to cut too much of the actual. If you're not really familiar doing it this way, buy yourself a wire strippers because you can actually cut yourself. If you slip or someone's around, you start pulling. And I don't have enough yet, so I'm going to go more. Plus, this, this knife is dull, and a dull knife will actually cut you worse than a sharp knife. Now, camera's over here, yeah, so you can see how much I got. What you want to do is twist it. Doesn't matter what side you grab right now. Actually, I'm going to go with the mail first because I made this a little long. What I'm going to do is try to take and stick it through up into that uh, end here. And it looks like 8 gauge is going to be probably the, one of the biggest ones you can use. Now, it's not letting me push that up in there. So what I'm going to do, if you're careful, you can take your ends And spread them out. Here's what the here's what they look like straight up and down and I spread it out. And I did that with my fingers. Then see I can push that up in there. 
I don't know if that's the correct way to do it, which I don't think it is. I'm going to redo it because I don't want to push on this end. I just want the wires to grab on that end. So, And I had a little needle nose I wronged out. But what you want to do, if you're doing it this way, is just push one side down at a time. Then you can overlap your second one. So you really don't need to push that out. Let me pause you. Alright, we got our needle nose. They're a little sticky. They need weird, but... What I'm going to do is just take one side and crimp it onto the wire for now. And if you're careful, sometimes you can reuse these if you don't have tons of money. So as you can see, this side is still up. So, I'm going to try to make the other side down pretty good. And then, I'll, these pliers are awful. And if you see, it's starting to smash in there. And it's laid right over the other one. Now, if you got the actual pliers, it'll crimp in. But since I don't, and then that's going to slide on there. But before you do all that, you want to make sure that your rubber o rings and all them parts are in right. And you got to make sure they go together right. So. And don't forget to put your uh, nut on. Put your nut on first. Put your uh, little clamp. And then you're going to put your uh, rubber o-ring on there. Then since this is a male, it's going to go to the bigger one. I heard it snap. You probably can take these back apart if you got a tool, but... So I said reuse them. It's on there. So we'll go ahead and uh, I'm going to take the piece and well, I'm going to cut the cord exactly in half. Now when you're making your female side you can have a little bit sticking up in there but I wouldn't put too much because your male connector is going to go up in there and might hit. So I'm leaving mine kind of short, about a half to a three quarters of an inch. And actually I'm going to go a little bit more, I'm going to go about an inch, a full inch.
we're trying to. Remember, I told you. This thing ain't very sharp. There we go. I, I did pull a couple of wires off, but that's roughly, actually, it's probably an inch 16. But a little bit, it's going to go up in there. Not too much. About a sixteenth of an inch went in there. Then I'm going to take my pliers again. Needle nose. Crimping just one side. There it is. Remember, nut first. Touch your nut over. You put this whole thing back. This, the part that smushes goes to the back. Goes on first. Just like that. At least that's the way I took it apart, so. Should hear his click. You know it's locked in. And I said that wrong. That went the other way. I actually screwed up on this one. But since I cut this cord in half, I can just follow it down and redo it. It's only like 22 feet I gotta go through. That's what I said on my videos. If I mess up, you're going to see it. No one's perfect. And I had it going this way. It's got to go this way. That was my mistake. Now let's see if I got it right. I believe that is right now. I don't know. If I can get the nut start. Nope, it's on backwards again, or not on pulling that, because then, I'm just screwing up left and right, guys. I'm going to put the piece of rubber on first. I know the rubber goes on the other way. And Let me pause and figure it out because I'm doing it wrong. Alright, we're going to try it again. We'll put it on this way. The, the ferrule going in. That's slipping on there. I believe that is right this time. I couldn't get the nuts started. Probably had it right the first time. Just that nothing didn't want to start. Try this again. Nah. I think I had it right. I had to watch the videos, but 
which I usually don't. I just make them. There it is. So we got these two ends. They're going to go to the solar panel. And then I need a little bit of this from the charge controller to the uh, battery. I can get more wire later on, but and this thing is micro, guys. Micro. It's Renogy. Same as solar panel. There it is. It's all bigger, that thing is. Came a day late, but I got it. All you're supposed to do is plug your solar charging because you're there you go solar and then charging and the other one's just 12 volt light or whatever so I need two of these wires I'm gonna make them the same length and I'm probably just gonna set this on top of the battery for now so I won't need real long core lengths. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with something like that. I don't know if I'm doing this right, I'm doing it wrong or whatever. But I'm doing it. Keep on going around and press or eat or whatever. Never get done. Alright. Let me strip these. Alright. And when you do that, you want to make sure. This one's not the best. So I'll push it in more. Make sure it's almost all the way in there. Not touching. Because you, you don't want any little uh, wire pieces sticking out. There it is. Because it could touch each other, so. Okay, I got uh, the battery hooked up. It's reading 12.7. I got the one lead hooked up. This is the negative lead. I got the positive lead hooked up. We're going to see if I blow something up or whatever I do. I don't. I just. Shouldn't send voltage back, but you never know. All right. I got that plugged in. It's facing towards the sun. And you see the little meter it's charging solar in 13 volt 13.2 volts in that's what the battery is reading and that's what it's bringing in so it's bringing in 13.2 volts solar. I don't know about the amperage. And the voltage of the battery is, is 12.7. So it is working, guys. Out of a whole bunch of, of what's my jiggy. And I don't even got it in the sun. I don't want didn't want to tear my panel up so it just said it's setting just like that and it's still doing let me show you what I mean this awesome panel you can see how it's kind of shady and look 
they are uh, tinted windows. Tinted windows, guys. It's tinted. Battery, 12.7. We are charging at 13 point something, 13.2. Oh well, it is working. Check that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook uh, the only thing that in my box in case I want to put it back. I'm going to hook this on and hook the TV and stuff in and see what it does. Alright, we got that on, and they're back here on the very top. It's blinking. There it is. It says channel 3, now we got to put this antenna thing on. But I'll trip and fall. This is supposed to be up to 200 miles. Bull hunky. At, I show y'all the ones uh I don't know if you need this or So on the box and something shows something totally different. I'll put it all together. Let me go ahead and put it together and I'll show it to you. Okay, I didn't have the remote for it, so I just went ahead and pushed the uh, buttons on the back. It seems like it's working. Don't know. We'll find out in a couple minutes if we, if we get a channel. My first solar system. I've had solar systems before. Toys. And this is basically basically a beginner's. Let's see what the uh, listings now. Where it actually went up in voltage. I was trying to see what the uh, Now it went down in voltage. It's 12.3 and it, the voltage coming in was uh, 12.8. But still, it's working. I'm going to just see what it does. Okay, we got three channels. We got Spain channel. Let me see. One, two... I think this one was Spain. But it works. So, it's pretty cool. Well, golly gee, Ma, I made it on the TV. Till later.